everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany, and today we are going to be opening up a box from Yoseka Stationery. I went a little wild and found some interesting items I wanted to try, and then went down a crazy rabbit hole and got some things. Um, on a whim. So let's open this box. Now that I'm closer to Yoseka um, in location and distance, I actually get their packages rather quickly. This came, this arrived in two days, which is Wonderful. And okay, so we are going to open things up one by one. So they always will send you like a brown bag with some of your little items and they have cute little washi that you can add to your journal and um, I've started a commonplace journal so when I get some more things going in that journal then I will definitely share um, but that is going to go into my commonplace notebook. We get some Yoseka stickers and a lovely note. Hi, Brittany. Thank you so much for your support as always. Hope the three, <laughs> um, seven, seven, six has been treating you well. Oh, that's nice. Um, it's one of my favorites. I think it definitely deserves a spot in your new pen roll. Oh, nice. I like that he, uh, from, from, I'm not sure who that's from, but I do like that they refer, they reference something from a previous order. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, so this is their card. I've been saving their cards. Um, it's been a while since I've actually, oh, it's Gordon. He's a new team member. So that's, that's the name. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, ordered from them. So this is edition 07. I think I'm probably missing edition 06 and 05. Um, but I've been saving these and I don't know. It's kind of cool to collect them. Okay, so I decided to get the Calm uh, Pentel pen because I just wanted to try it out. And actually, this is really nice. It has this rubber grip and it feels really good, actually. Like your, your fingers are not going to slide down this barrel because of this grip. And then you use the interesting clip here to bring down the pen and let's see how this pen can write. I'm just going to quickly pull out my journal. I'll do a little test. Not bad. Calm, this is in a 0 0.5. They had two barrel colors and then they have the 05 and 07. I picked the 05. I just like a thinner line. And it writes really well. There's no skipping. Um, 
I'm not sure if these are waterproof or water resistant, but we can try it out now with my water brush. So I just, okay, it definitely is. So this is, must be like a ballpoint um, Pentel pen. <laughs> so it's water resistant. And, yep, works pretty good. Okay. Next, I decided to get this gel pen that they were talking about. I do watch the Yoseka Stationery um, YouTube videos, and they were talking about this glue pen. And I felt like I needed it because I do have small things that I like to glue and they say that this thing lasts for a long time so um but it's pretty cool to have a pen in a glue or a or to have glue in a pen form and um it helps you kind of keep your items on the go at a minimal so you don't have to bring a thicker glue stick and then I got this, well, it looks like a kneaded eraser. It's called Seed on the website, and it's meant to clean off your stamps after you're done stamping. I don't have any other means to clean my stamps. I usually write, like, wipe them down off of a towelette. Um, but I figured maybe I could try this instead. So, oh, I kind of like how it's in this little case and I could put it back. I think it can kind of, yeah, change shape and stuff. So you just pat it on your uh, stamp after stamping like this to take off the excess color. This is probably a color that has stained the stamp already. Um, but yeah, and it's supposed to work. So I'm excited to try that out. And then I got me some glue items. So I needed a refill on my glue stick and I thought I thought I had the small one, like the size that was on their website, and I don't. So I thought I would get a refill and then also get one just in case this size wasn't the exact size that I currently have, which apparently it isn't. So luckily I did get the refill for this. Um, I do like these because they're just so simple to use. Now I just need to find a refill for this size. I guess this is considered the medium since this is the small, but I do like this glue stick. It works really well. Um, I'm noticing that when I use the um, Tombow glue, I think this is the Tombow glue, um, refills and stuff sometimes when you're putting down the adhesive the glue doesn't always stick to um it doesn't make a complete full line of glue like only some of it or like the edge the left there's more on the left side or the right side of the glue line um it's not completely full whereas with this glue it's like all you're actually getting the use of the glue on your paper Whereas with this, I'm like having to do it multiple times to make sure I have enough glue on my page. This one, it's like one swipe, you're good on one side of the page. Another swipe, you're good. You don't have to keep running it multiple times and wasting wasting product. So that's what I've found out. And it has lasted me for a couple of months. So there's a lot of glue in here. Not quite sure how much would be in this one, but this is really cute. Now I just need to need to find some refills for this size. 
So these are some of the other little accessories I uh, was really wanting to get from Yoseka. And then now the other things are the extras. So I was just looking at their new section. Um, that's usually where I go to first. And I came upon this notebook. So this is called the Book Note 360. And it is meant to be fountain pen friendly. At least that's what I was thinking, but we are going to check it out now. This is in an A5 size, which is my favorite size of a notebook. I guess I could leave this on. So the book itself says it has Watanabe book binding. The outside cover is quite thick, like cardboard. And I like how the edges are curved. It's quite nice. It's actually a really sturdy, sturdy looking book. Okay, so there's, there's only blank pages. There was an option for me to pick any type of specific grid, so I guess that they're all blank. Yeah, but I do want to do a test. Um, again, this book is meant to be able to fold on itself, so let's see how that works. So if I were to fold it in half, and fold it like that. So not bad. And let's see. How we can do this pen test. Okay. Um, oh, five. Pilot custom eight, two, three. I, oh, nope, it is. Not looking good right now. Let me zoom in, you can see better. So it is kind of fuzzy. Um, this one is a medium. Yeah, wow. I'm shocked. I guess I didn't read the description very well because there is definitely some um, feathering. I almost forgot the word. Let's see if there's bleed through. Not quite any bleed through, but definitely show through. Um, I guess maybe might be able to find an ink that will work well with this paper, which is possible. Um, not all inks will feather like this. And it also may need to be a, in a really fine fountain pen. So I will have to go back to look into the description of this item, but I do like the book itself. And like the linen cover. And the fact that you can fold it in on itself, I may just end up using this for work now since I don't always use a fountain pen when I'm working because I just need something quick. And so that's when my gel pens and uh, ballpoint pens come in handy. And so, yeah. All right. What else? Bum, bum, ba, bum. I decided to get that green pen roll. 
So it's a superior labor um, collaboration with Yoseka. And you get, uh, as with many superior labor items, you get their like linen bag. And this one has their information on here. Actually, this logo looks a lot different than some of the other ones. So I don't know if this is a newer logo, like they've updated it. Um, so yeah, this smells delicious, divine. And this is not my first. I do have an undyed, which I did buy off of Facebook. And this one is the green one. I am really loving like green. Um, I like forest green and this reminds me of like a forest green, um, like a dark green. And so we get this cute little card made for us by the superior labor. We developed this Yoseka green leather roll pen case to be a home for your Yoseka fountain pens, but we hope any of your favorite everyday carry tools will be happy in this case. And then you get a sticker and you always get this little, um, I don't know, accessory item. I just add them to any loop space that I can on any of my pouches. And then you have this beautiful leather, squishy, loud, leather <laughs> oh it's it's beautiful and then you get their logo which is really cool so i tend to not put my fountain pens in the leather roll um especially my uh, expensive fountain pens unless i have them in a individual like pen um, cover for instance I don't mind putting a fountain pen in here and then slipping it into here um, I've noticed that my pens have gotten scratched when using this type of leather roll uh, because I've stuffed it and um, even when I don't stuff it because there's room for some of these pens to have space for additional items. So I wouldn't just put one pen in here because it's so much room, I can fit other things. Um, so the type of stuff I would put in here are my ballpoint. I would definitely put like one of these pens in here, even some glue um, are my, where are they? Even like a stamp. Pad. That would fit in here. Actually, this fits like perfect. Um, a stamp pad, and if I had washi um, on a like something small and thin that would fit in here, I would add that. So more of the accessories for journaling rather than my pens. I've been keeping my pens in more of the cushiony type of um, pouches. Okay, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. Last but not least is a pen. And I did not know this pen existed until I ended up looking into the upcoming section on Yoseka. I'm not sure when the upcoming items turn into like new items but this was interesting because i felt like i had never came across this ever or i must have missed that episode of yoseka when they may have talked about it but this is the line friends um sailor fountain pen and oh look at that on the inside pretty cool. I like that packaging. I might try to save this somehow. 
to look at this color. Oh my gosh. So this is just a Sailor um, Pro Gear Slim. It's not the large one, it's the smaller one. And they only had a couple of sizes left, which was interesting because it was on the new item. Um, I don't know if that's just because they didn't get all the sizes and they only got a few. Oh, cute. Line friends. So I'm not really that familiar with line friends, but I know my sailors and this is definitely a sailor I wanted to get. And look at that on the finial. How cute. So it's a clear pink barrel and it's a Sailor Japan, found in 1911. And it looks awfully short in comparison. I mean, um, we've looked at some of the comparisons of the Rialo with um, the Sailors and the Rialo is bigger than even the Pro Gear. Sailor. It's a little bit longer. So it's definitely bigger than a Pro Gear Slim. And then you get the black um, finial, but the pink finial at the top. And you get, is that bunny? No, it's a rabbit. You get the rabbit and that's perfect because it is the year of the rabbit, right? Yeah. Or is it like a bunny? I'm not quite sure what animal, uh, what they call the animal. Oh, cute. And look, that's a special sailor converter with the pink little handle. Didn't know those existed. Nice. And then you get this really light pink grip um, here. So this is the extra fine and you might be able to see that written there on the nib. Um, I'm hoping it writes well. We also get the traditional cartridges and the information. Um, and then some information on the warranty. And yeah, so that is all I have to share with you from my little haul from Yoseka. And I'm really happy with this order. I'm a little disappointed on the notebook, but that's my fault. And um, now I just have to find some refills on my Kukuyo uh, glue for the medium. And I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this far, if you made it to the end. And I will catch you in the next video.